More than a million dollars of cocaine was set to be distributed in the Bay State, but law enforcement here in Western Mass stopped in, stepped in rather, confiscating the drugs and arresting two men from Mexico. Today, one of those men faced a judge in Palmer, and Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford was there. She joins us live in Palmer now with the latest information. Paris. Chris, Mary, today we learned more about the investigation that led to that arrest right here in this traffic plaza in Ludlow. A lengthy investigation by multiple agencies came to an end on Monday when two men from Mexico were arrested for trafficking a large amount of drugs. And on Friday, one of those men, Joel Enrique Armanta Castro, faced a judge for a dangerousness hearing. Your Honor, the allegations indicate that the defendant is involved in a large narcotics distribution operation. Prosecutors say police were tipped off to a large cocaine delivery that was scheduled to drive through the Bay State. Investigators were able to track a tractor trailer to the Ludlow Service Plaza on the Mass Pike. It was allegedly driven by Gerardo Madrigal Quintero. Investigators say they saw an exchange of narcotics between Quintero and Castro, and that's when Castro was arrested by law enforcement. A short time later, Quintero was arrested by police along I-91. Inside the courtroom, Western Mass News learned more information about the investigation that led to the arrest. Castro's defense attorney said the arrest relied on an informant. We have a report that doesn't tell us whether this informant is reliable, how long anyone's worked with this informant. The entire case is predicated on this informant. He says that informant picked Castro up from Logan Airport in Boston and drove him across the pike. The informant is the one that was driving the car across the state. Um, the informant is the one who picked up my client at the airport at Logan. The prosecution pointed to the amount of drugs and their alleged plans to distribute them across the Bay State as the reason why Castro should be considered a danger to the community. A judge agreed and he ordered Castro to be held without the right to bail for at least the next 120 days. Now the other man arrested with Castro is set to also have a dangerousness hearing. We believe that will be next week. Reporting live in Ludlow, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News.